Well, imagine that as blank. Yeah. You won't, they won't know, won't they? No. <laughs> take, take two. <laughs> right. So, here we go. Yeah, that didn't do any of that, so I've got to do the, the whole thing again. All right, so we so set the scene. We're going to do a lesson on OAP, mm -hmm. Observation Anticipation Planning. Yeah. And the reason we're doing that is because last lesson we did some country roads. Yeah. Mm. You were a little bit quick into some bends. Yeah. I had to help you out. Mm. And so there's a need there. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to sort that out. Yeah. And you're at the train stage. So we've covered all the syllabus. So you've done a bit of dual carriage roads. You've done a little bit of rural roads. Mm. You've done a bit of town. But you need you did need you do need more on rural roads. Yeah. Okay. Hence mm. we're going to do that today. Um, and you've booked your theory. Did I just say that? <laughs> I don't know what I've said. <laughs> you've booked your theory test. You've got that in a couple of weeks. That's right. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So you're not enrolled yeah. yet. So we're just setting the scene just okay. so we know <laughs> what we're doing. Because mm. we've had to do this twice. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> So yeah, and you work here. You've jumped in the car. You've already done your cockpit drill. Yeah. And there was an in, there was a, a a thing last week that I'm going to recap on. You know, you went too mm. fast around the corner, and that was sort of set us up for doing this lesson. Yeah. So there's a real need. The the pupil needs it. And like I say, at train stage, she could drive. Um, you've done about 20 hours mm -hmm. at this point. Um, but to get you to test standard, we really need to brush up on your awareness and anticipation mm. skills to help you. Yeah, good. Yeah. So that's just mm. that's just the scene set. So you've jumped in. You've done your copy job. I haven't put my silk belt on yet, but I'm going to do that just so I'm a bit free to talk. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll go for it. So, hi Russell, how you doing? Oh, I'm going to drop a pen. Very well, thanks. Yeah, yeah good. Had a good week. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good, good. Amazing good. weather. <laughs> It is, isn't it, for February, at 19 <laughs> degrees, can't, can't believe it. So um, so we're doing our normal weekly lesson, we've got an hour lesson today, mm -hmm. um, and let's just recap on what happened last week, and what we did, so can you just tell me a little bit about what went well with last week's lesson? I think driving on the rural roads, I'm, I'm getting much better control and awareness of the car in terms of how it's progressing. There was one incident though, which I'm guessing is the purpose for us doing this lesson, where I went around a corner a little bit too quickly and you had to help me out on the brake. And That's uh, yeah, it, it had the potential to go a little bit wrong and perhaps even be dangerous maybe. So, That's it. so if you could do that again, what would you do differently? Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Take it easy, yeah. Take it easier into the corner and heed the advice of all the the, the messages on the road and the, the signs, which I didn't really take in very well. Yeah, so we can time. we can look at that because we mm. did reflect on that at the end of last week that there were some signs giving you that information. Yeah. So we're going to take that and kind of run with it really, and just raise your level of uh, observations and awareness, help you planning. So we've got a little name for that. So, I don't think we've talked about this before. OAP. Nope. nope. So that'll be the theme of our lesson. So, ob O's for observation. So mm -hmm. we're going to have raise our eyes sort of on main beam. So you're looking well up the road. Yeah. You're looking mm -hmm. far. You're looking near and, and then mm -hmm. to the rear. Um, so you've got good uh, good observations mm -hmm. all round. The A's for anticipation. So we can start to anticipate what other people might do mm -hmm. or what's around that bend. Yeah. So, for example, let's say you observed Paul Smuck on the road. Mm -hmm. What could be around the next corner? A couple of horses and riders. That's it. So that's your mm -hmm. anticipation. So what would the plan be? To slow down and consider maybe having to stop and reevaluate the situation when I got around the corner. That's it. So it's just as simple as that. Simple mm -hmm. as that way. Yeah. That's what we're going to be doing today. And... You've got your theory test coming up, haven't you? Two weeks time, fingers crossed, yeah. yeah. And how are you getting on with that? How are you getting on with like the multiple choice questions and, and the, um, the hazard perception videos? How's that all going? The multiple choice questions I'm getting fairly good at, but the hazard perception is a little bit difficult. I, I can't quite seem to time it with when the hazard occurs. All right. 
Well, that's just to be the perfect lesson, so we can bring that to life rather than watching video clips on a little screen. Yeah, we can do it in like HD, you know, Excellent. out the window, like just for real. So, um, so we'll do that. So, um, and that will help you going forwards with with your um, with your theory tests. So we just sort of t let's take a bend in a rural road setting to start with, and how we can use this system. So, got a bend drawn up on um, on my little picture here. So if we look at road markings first, so we've got long lines with short gaps. What do those road markings tell us? They're hazard lines, aren't they? Or hazard approaching, it's in high hazard, something like that. That's it. And if yeah. there's short lines with long gaps, what would that mean like that one? Low hazard, presumably, the opposite. Of the, That's it. And maybe a, a separation of the lanes. That's the it. Lanes and in. do all country roads have a centre white line? No, I don't think so. Where, where I live, there's no lines on the road at all. So, exactly. so mm, they can be quite yeah. narrow. Mm. So rural roads can be full, full of hazards, so they're, they're narrow, they're bendy. What other kind of hazards might we get on rural roads? There could be, f there could be farm vehicles, perhaps. Exactly, mm. yeah. And on a nice day like today, what, who else could be out and about? People walking, horse riders. Cyclists. Yeah, what were you mm. doing this morning? Cycling, yeah. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, mm. so it's a nice day, so we're going to think of all of those sorts of things. Mm. Um, so, yeah, let's take this spend. So, if we're on a, um, a country road and the national speed limit applies, what is the speed limit? 60 if it's national speed limit. So, 60, limit, yeah. 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 So, if you're driving at 60 miles an hour, it's safe to do so. And you've got a bend. How would you judge your speeds for this bend? Is it something to do with being able to stop in the distance you can see to be clear? I remember that one from the okay, highway so you're, code. You're, so you're, you've, yeah. read, you've brilliant. Yeah. Good. So you've read your highway code. So you're absolutely right. You've got to be able to stop within that distance. And how are you going to? Judge how far ahead you can see. Have you? Have we talked about limit points? We haven't yet, I don't think. Okay. Well, let's we just... might have, we might have touched on it, but yeah. Well, if I just explain, if you're, if you're, imagine you're, we've got a bird's eye view on this picture, but if you're sat in a car here, pens comp out. There you go. If you're sat in the car there, you'd be sat on this side, and your view, let's say there's hedges on the, the side here. So we've got yeah. a sharp left bend. There's hedges, so we can't see across the fields no. here. So your view would kind of come up there, you'd see as far as that point, wouldn't you, on this part of the bend, and your view would come through to there. So there'd be two points there, a point on the near side and a point on the off side. Yeah. And you, so if we drew a line through that, you just can't see no. what's here, can you? Mm -hmm. This is like a big question mark as to what's happening. So as you're driving towards a bend, the distance you can see to be clear is this this limit point mm -hmm. yeah. where the in, in near side and the offside kind of meet and converge mm. to a point and you just can't see past it. Mm -hmm. So as you're driving towards it you've got to be able to think to yourself as you just said you've got to be able to stop yeah. and that's where we went wrong last week because we yeah. arrived there too quickly yeah. and before that we had some warning triangles didn't Which we? So we had a warning triangle I, yeah. mm. with a little bend on it it's a warmness of the bends, and also, I don't know if you noticed, it said slow on the road. Right, yeah, no, I didn't did notice. <laughs> so, if we so we've got the warning triangle, we've got slow on the road, and the hazard lines, and there was also another bit of information on the bends. Can you think what that was? No, or was I can't it all just a blur? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. Well, no, on, on the bends here, we quickly. had a sign here, a big long sign with black, Narrows, black and that's white right. yeah, of course. stripe. Mm. So what does that sign tell us? Then it's a sharp bend, I think. Is yeah, it? yeah, sharp deviation to the left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got all that information, and if we so if we're observing we'll be that information, yeah. we can anticipate that there might be something coming around their bend, or the the bend is sharp, mm -hmm. and we have a plan in place to get enough speed off to do that safely, yeah. and that we can stop within the distance seems to be clear. So that's how we're going to do that. Then as you get nearer to the bends, when you get to here and you've taken your speed off and you're sat there, what's going to happen to your view? It'll open up. 
Yeah, so if we do redo it, so that will be there mm -hmm. and there, so that limit point is shifting round yeah. mm -hmm. to the left. Mm -hmm. So the bend is opening up, as we often say. Yeah. So until that bend opens up, because all, all, for all you know, when you're in the road here, you don't know what happens around that bend. For all you know, the, it could be the road could do a U, couldn't it? It could come back yeah. to itself. Then so the bend like trouble. never ends. Yeah. Mm. Um, but on this one, it's like a 90 degree mm -hmm. bend. Or it could have gone off at an angle like that, or there could be a farm entrance here, for example. Mm. So we just yeah. don't know. Mm. So if we can stop in the distance, and then as we get closer, that limit point will start moving. Yeah. And at that point, if we can stop in that distance, we can, their speed's off, so we're at the slowest point before the bend, we can take a gear mm -hmm. and go around the corner and yeah. keep, like follow and kind of match the speed of the limit point as it moves away around the corner. Yeah. And as the bend opens up, if it's safe, we'll check our mirrors and we'll make progress mm. off to the next one. Yeah. So we can, we'll do that. We've got a nice bend coming up. Yes, in yes. fact, it's the same bend that we did last week. Right. So we're going to go back to that one and just help you with that one. This time I'll get it right. <laughs> so how did you want to play play it on that bend? Did you want to, did you want me to sort of help you on the That would be good first, first time, that would be good, yeah. Definitely. Okay, so we'll do that. Yeah. yeah. And we'll make sure your speed's right. Mm. So the things I'll be saying to you, I'll comment on the observation. So I'll I'll verbalise the observations, like there's a warning sign, there's slow on the road, there's yeah. hazard lines, mm -hmm. there's a man on a cyclist, for example. Whatever's coming up, yeah. I'll verbalise what we're observing. Mm -hmm. We can think about what, I'll verbalise what we're anticipating, so you know, the mm -hmm. cyclist could wobble, yeah. for example. I'll talk about whatever's relevant at the time, and I'll instruct you and tell you to slow down for that bend. We're going to be focused on the limit point and we're going to get the speed all off yeah. so we could stop in that mm -hmm. distance. Then when we've done that, we're going to take a gear around the corner all before we turn around that bend. We don't want to be on the bend trying to change gears no. on the bend because what would be the problem if you're trying to change gear on a bend? I think it makes the car unstable. Yeah, it's not really good. Well, where would your left hand be if you're changing gear? Not on the steering wheel, which is where it needs to be. So yeah, if you're steering right. like that and a tractor comes around the corner, yeah. you're, you're in trouble, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and, and so am I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want to do that. No. We don't want to do that. <laughs> so, I'll verbally instruct you. Mm, if I yeah. feel you're going too fast and you haven't taken enough speed off, and you're not responding to verbal commands, I'll, I've got my dual controls, I'll slow you on my brake. Okay. I want you to steer with both hands around the corner. If you're struggling with steering, if it's if there's a safety issue, I'll come in and right. take yeah. the wheel to keep us on our side of the road. Mm -hmm. Don't anticipate having to do that. If you follow my instruction, we won't get to that point. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. happy with that? Yeah, good. It's okay? Yeah, definitely. It's Sounds just good. my job to keep everything safe, keep mm -hmm. you safe, yeah. everyone else, you know. And we, yeah. we want to go home, don't we? At definitely. the end of the day, <laughs> yes, that's good. Yeah, good. So, right, so, um, I'm going to get rid of my stuff now. So we're going to go on a, a country drive. We're going to focus on bends initially. And as we get into it, I'll bring in the OAP more. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we've got yeah. an hour, so we, we'll have a good old go at it. Okay. So I'm going to get my seat melt on. So, you normally start your lesson from here. So we're going to head towards the exit. There's two exits. So what, what do you want to do? What exit we're we going for today? The exit over there, shall we? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. how are you going to get there? What are you going to go up the aisle there or down there? What, what's the just plan? Just looking. Just trying to work out the arrows whether you can go up there. If you look to the end of the aisle, where that little car has just gone, can you see any giveaway signs? I think there probably is. They're very faint. But... Can you see a round sign? There is, yes, actually, yeah. Now that's worn by the sun, but that round sign, what would round signs mean? No entry, I think. That is. Yeah. Well, round sign mean orders. Yeah. But, um, mm, gives, sorry, yeah. What, what shape would a give way sign be? It's an upturned triangle. Yeah. That's it. So we can tell from that. Because it's not very clearly yeah. marked here. The road markings are, yeah. well, where are they? <laughs> so my, lane, my knowledge here tells us yeah. that we've got to go down that one. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. what would be the risk if we try to get out of that and someone's trying to get in? 
Yeah, that, that's it. We could meet. And it's not really vehicle, wide. wide it's not wide enough for no. two vehicles. And who would be in the wrong? It'd be us. <laughs> All day long because yeah. there's no way. Because it's, so it's one way. Probably easier then to go out of the exit over there than I think. Yeah. So if you go to yeah. the end, you'll see some signs for the exit. Mm -hmm. Follow signs around to the exit. Yeah. And then when we get to the exit, I direct you. So stay mm, in yeah. terms of directions. I'd give you directions clearly and in good time. Okay. If road markings or signs, sorry, follow the road ahead unless yeah. road markings or signs mm -hmm. tell you otherwise. Um, but if you're not sure, just ask. Okay. But I'll be giving yeah. directions as, as we go through here. So, yeah. Um, okay. so yeah, when you're ready, then say. So, mm -hmm. And just check that. So you just, okay, it's all right, just relax. But I did actually just take out a gear, so I just want to mention something just about the observations there. So if we're going that way, mm -hmm. what way did you look last? That way? <laughs> it's the wrong way around, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so where's yeah. the most danger going to come from? Over there. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. who, who could shoot? In fact, while I was waiting for you today, mm -hmm. one of your colleagues from where you work yeah. drove quite quickly <laughs> right. through that little gap. Right. And I thought, blimey. You know. mm, yeah. So um so that's that's the way you're gonna go in it. That's where the yeah. that's high risk. Of course it is, yeah. That's yeah. lower risk. So yeah. where would you start and finish your observations? You'd start over your right and finish over your left. That's it. And yeah. if you're going that way then yeah. you do what you Reverse, do. Reverse, yeah. Absolutely. Magic. Alright, so do that again and you had a little stall, so just get used to it. Just relax and um is your seat alright? Is that in the right place? It is, is it's, that, fine, yeah? Yeah. it's fine, yeah. It's fine, yeah. Alright, definitely yeah. And that, now look, we can see the arrows. So it weren't so clear up that end, were they? And good, you found your sun visor, sure, right? alright? And what, where's the exit here? What way are we going to go? We'll turn right here. Alright. Nicely done. And what speed limit have we got in the car park, do you know? I don't know, I should think it's only about five or ten at the most. It's, yeah, really just a walking pace. It is, yeah. It's five in here. Yeah, right. And so at the exit, we're going to be turning right. Okay. In fact, if you can just come to a stop here, just for a second, just for a moment. I've got no one behind us. Because we're going out to a busy road with a 60 limit, it's going to get a bit windy in it. Yeah. And your window's down. I just want to make sure you're happy putting that up. Yes, I will do. Definitely. If you do it yeah. there, so because it's quite hot, yeah. you know, February, it's yeah. like 20 degrees. <laughs> What's going on? What can we do yeah. to make it nice in here? Turn the air conditioning down. You know where it is? I think it's here, isn't it? It's that one, just yeah. see one with the AC on it. So if you press the AC oh, button. Yeah, okay. And what I do, just with this cart, I direct it off the windscreen because it will freeze the windscreen. So we'll put it towards us. I'll yeah. turn the temperature down a bit like that on that I one. See, yeah, it could. And that'll just keep us nice. Fantastic. And now you won't have to worry about it putting your windows up. Yeah. So when it's safe, I'd like to move off. Is there anyone in behind at the minute? No. Nope. No? Good. And then we're going to head towards the exit, turn right. Okay, so you deal with this, that's alright. And observations here, warning triangle, low bridge in one mile. So that's my first observation. Warning hazard lines down the middle, we're going to go left at the roundabout. So you go through the routine. And look, cycle path comes to an end. So what could be round here? There could be cyclists on exactly. the road, yeah, sure. Yeah. So as we go into the new road, just have a little look at what signs you can see. What do you notice in this road? There's a height restriction. And a weight restriction. And what are the other round signs there? The white ones with the black stripe. National speed limit. National speed limit. So yeah. check your mirrors. Is it safe to make progress on this road? It is, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of lines we've got down the middle? Close ones. So that means it's hazardous. It's probably referring to that dip in the road. It is. And now if you look at the next warning triangle, so we've got a T junction with priority. We've got priority, yeah. so cars are right giving way. So check those mirrors. Yeah. Over to the brake. 
and start to break. See the limit points is coming towards us, yeah. so we're going to keep, keep braking, or brake more, more, clutch and brake, second gear, keep braking, clutch up, clear brakes, off brakes, there. Limit point runs, and we just follow that round with both hands on the wheel. Perfect. Mirror check, lots of signs. Road bends right, road narrow, cyclists, and the road's liable to flood in. So let's mirrors, get the speed down, keep to our side, look at the limit point. It's just creeping away, so stay in this gear, hands on the wheel, follow that round. And now look at what has happened to the limit point, so it's run away from us, and now we can make that progress. So take third and leave it in third, just leave it in third. Lift up and ease off the gas. Now look at the next limit point. When it's when you've matched it, follow it. So now you can accelerate. See that? Accelerate. Keep more. You can put more acceleration through there. And now look at that limit point. It's just run away from you. So we can make safe progress without being too fast. We don't want to be too fast. We don't want to be too slow. So looking well ahead now. There's a 30 light limit ahead. So what we need to do? You need to check your mirrors. So mirrors then break. So now we come into a different environment, a 30 limit, houses to the right, are there footpaths? No. So that's our observation. No, there is now. Um, What's not footpaths? Uh, not really. No, What's no. the anticipation? There's no footpaths where the pedestrian's going to be. Potentially on the road. We're going to turn right at the junction. Okay. And also, what are the grey things outside the houses? Bins. Bin, yeah, so bins. So focus on the junction. You make the decision here because you're good at T junctions. Just notice there, you're sort of taking a lot of gears there. We could just do that hazard in one gear, couldn't we? So you went second and first, so we could just come up to that, roll it in one, couldn't we? Right. So, mirror check. Let's look at this road. We've got a footpath on the left, footpath on the right. The bins are out. So, what's the anticipation? What kind of vehicle could be around here today? There could be a bin lorry. And what's time of day? Is it? Four o'clock. So unlikely to be a bin lorry. Pedestrian crossing. Any pedestrians there? No pedestrians. And at the mini roundabout beyond it, we're going to be going ahead. So you're going to go round the little mini roundabout or over the top of it? Around it. Good. Yeah. I remember you saying that on the last lesson. Well done. And just check your right mirror. Yeah. Just there. Because why do you think I'm saying that? What well, might? What might happen there? Could there be a car try to overtake? Is that what you're exactly. thinking of? Because you're taking the correct line where yeah. most people go over the top. Right. They might think you're going to turn left. Yeah. And have we got a car behind? Yes, we have, quite close as okay, well. Okay, so let, what are our observations here? Mirror check and then accelerate up to water. And what are the signs telling us? That there's a crossing, so we just need to be aware of the crossing. And what, so what does that sign tell us exactly, that triangle? Just here, that, it's, that there's a level crossing. With a... It's very uneven. With a gate. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. So level crossing with a gate. Yeah. Do you know what the, what it would look like if it didn't have a gate? Is it just a cross? It's just a picture of a train. Picture of a train, right. Gonna go ahead at the roundabout. Mm -hmm. So deal with the roundabout. It's coming in a bit quick here. I'd get that speed down. So you've got time to observe. Think about your lanes in this roundabout. Because I want you to stay in a lane. That's it. So again, we're using a lot of gears there for that hazard. We could just use one. So that's something we were well, we meant to go down there. We were. So mirror signal right. Is it safe to continue around? It is. Yeah. Move to the right lane. Mirror signal exit left. Okay, so just got a bit confused there. Are you all right? Yep. I'm Do you good. need a break or a rest no, or anything? I'm good, thank you. Okay, junction right is our observation. Black car might pull out mm -hmm. and force oncoming cars into our path. So the plan would be just to slow. And that, that yeah. speed's good there. Okay. That's a good speed because that was the hazards. Yeah. So get your eyes on full beam, look well ahead. Mm -hmm. And what are signs telling us? National speed limit. Okay, so what do we need to do? Check the mirrors and then accelerate. Okay, and what do the white lines tell us at the minute? Low hazard. Okay, and what's happening on the near side? What's this? Grass verge, is that what you're referring to? Well, did, did it look like maybe large vehicles have been in and out of there? Oh yeah, it's right, sorry. Yeah, sure. So we had a, a muddy sort of track into the field with lots of muds and dust onto the road. Yeah. 
So it'd be worth noting because you might see some big vehicles right. on the road. Okay, so you're currently in sixth gear and we're currently travelling at 55. Yeah. So now we're coming up to a bend. Okay, the bend, the road bends to the right. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is just follow my lead on this. So just check your mirrors. Yep. Ease off your gas and don't brake. Car near side coming out, so that's fine. And now look at the limit point and it's moving now, isn't it? So now accelerate. So just go around with that. See who's followed you around the bend and accelerate away. So that bend we did at six, at about 50. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the limit point moved, didn't it? Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing a bit later on. So all in triangle here. What's the hazards? There's a junction up ahead. Okay, and what's and the speed of it? Currently national, but coming up to a 30. So, so let's check those mirrors early. Really really check the mirrors, bring the Don't mirrors. change gear, just get the speed down. Speed down, gear change. So just one gear change there. Yeah. We don't need to do multiple gear change. So it's speed first, then gear. Yeah. Do it in that order, then you'll have a nice little system. Lots of warning triangles here. Crossroads and the road bends to the right. Mirror check. Yeah. Scanning. Because what, what could we anticipate as we approach crossroads? There could be cars coming just across. Just keep your hands on the wheel while you're just doing that. Just yeah, just I know it's hard, but you just hold that wheel and you can just verbalise your questions. So if you yeah. just check those mirrors, what's happening behind? Yeah. Stay in this gear, ease your speed up if safe to do so. And look at the limit points running, isn't it? So accelerate round, keep going, keep going. You'll probably be a little bit quicker there. Mirror check. In the distance, brake lights. Mm -hmm. Still holding these brakes on. So there's probably a problem around that corner, maybe a cyclist or a horse. Yeah. So let's reciprocate behind, just show your brake lights here. Let the guy know behind there could be a problem. Let's wait and see. His brakes are still on and there he is, there's a cyclist. Yeah. So we've given a warning behind. Now are you happy overtaking this cyclist when safe or do you want some help? I have some help please. Okay. You. So you've taken a gear, mirror, mirror, right signal. Yeah. Is it safe? Look on your motorbikes, can yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah, safe. Safe. Overtake. Good. Nice clearance as well. Warning triangle crossroads. Stay in this gear. Car emerging. Now, his view is blocked by the deviation signs, the diverted traffic signs. Yeah. So your speed there is perfect. Very good. Just give it a little thanks for seeing us. And mirror check. Where's the car behind going? Just turned off. Okay. So now let's have a gear change. Eyes on full beam. What, what signs you got down the end of that road? Deviation to the left. And before it? Warning of deers and a bendy road. That's it. So mirrors bringing the brakes and just we're going to do this in one gear. Just brake, brake more, 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 more. I'm going to brake, second, off brake, second. Before the bend, now we've got both hands to go on. So I just jumped on the brakes there just so we didn't get into that while you're trying to change your gear, just to hold you back. To give you time to get a gear change. Mirror check. Accelerate. Limit point is the brow of that hill. So we don't know what's over that hill, so we've got to think could we stop? And now we can see. Vision's good. We can make progress, can't we? Here. Hazard lines continue for a wooded area, so we know about maybe deers might run out. We've had a warning sign. And then the woods end. And on the brow of the hill, can you see the little sign for the footpath, public footpath? Yes, I can. Oh, so yeah. that's our observation. So who might be around here? Pedestrians. That's it. So we're keeping an eye out for them. We've got good visibility though, haven't we? Yeah. The, the road has opened up. The hedgerows are finished. The woods are finished. And we can see open fields. And look at the warning lines. The lines in the middle. They're short with long gaps. So low hazards. Yeah mud on the road and so now look ahead to the next bend and the next limit point we're currently in fourth so we're going to do this in one gear all before the bend so mirrors break slow on the road speed low observe warning keep braking go for the gear whilst braking clutch up clear brakes accelerate limit points moving around the corner 
perfect. Good, so all done before the bend, that's much better. Going to take the next left. So look at the warning triangle. So we've got a bend with our little spur on it. So the junction left. So that's quite tight, just to warn you. You need to be slow on this one. Just think of a lorry come along to the left. You wouldn't see it till quite late and he might be on your side of the road. So have a good look in. That's it, good. That's quite tight in it, that one. Jeez, yeah. So the, the sign before it kind of gives us a warning that when you get a junction or bend, it can be quite, quite a tight one. Mm, yes, right. So look, we've got another sign the same there, look. Road bends left with a spur on it, but look at the observations, we can look into it. Speed low, observe warning hazard lines and notice this road's got solid white lines on either side of the carriageway do you know what they're for to mark the edge of the carriageway clearly yeah so they don't put it on all roads so why have they put it on this road because it's very rural so in the event of bad weather yeah they what well, the more paint the more signs you get the more warning the more hazards yeah and if, you, if you're driving at night time, we haven't driven at night time yet, what advantage would those white lines give you? It would help you to position the car much better. Yeah, it'd help you see that limit point, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because you'd yeah. see the, the, the white lines converge yeah. to a point. So over the crest of the hill, what have we got? Or just before it, what signs have we got? National speed limit. Okay, so what's happening on lines? All good. Do you want to do the limit point on the next bend? Yeah, that'd be good. Next. So we've got a warning triangle, road bends right, then left. So two bends, one hazard, one gear. Okay. Speed low, observe warning. Tell me about the next warning. Crossroad speed low, observe warning. And how many times have they put it now? Twice. So, so how much paint's on the road? Lots of paint. It's obviously a significant area, so I'm just easing off the brakes. And all clear, checking the mirrors. Yeah, to be fair, I think your speed was a bit too slow for that. Okay, yeah. I think if I was following you in a car, I might be encouraged to overtake you on that crossroad. Yeah, right. Which I shouldn't do. But because you're down to less than 30 and a 60, yeah, there's lots of pain. We can see it. I think it just felt too slow. Yeah. So we're looking. We're going to look at that in a minute. So what's happening behind? There's a car fairly close. What's happening far up ahead? The road's open at the moment. Where's the road going ahead? Around to the left. Okay. Like and look through the bends. What's happening after the bends? What are those big things? Coming into a housing estate. That's so it. probably a speed limit change. The mirrors. Ease off. Don't brake. Sorry. Don't change gear, I meant there. That's enough brake. Now look at that limit point moves. So I got confused my words then. And look, as you've predicted, housing estate oh, and there's a change of speed limit. Do you want this bringing down? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> Warning triangle coming up ahead. What's that telling us? There's a roundabout. And at that roundabout, we're going to be turning right. Now you're supposed to happen to the road markings soon. They go from short to long or the yeah. slow. Yeah, the slow, short. Footpath starts on the right. Bins around. Bus stops as well. So we've got quite a lot of information there. So lots to anticipate on this road. So you've gone second, but might you need first? What if a car come there now? I'd need first. You'd need, you need another gear, wouldn't yeah. you? So let's try and just do everything in one gear. Give you less to do and make your driving nice and slick without any like wastage. Yeah. We'll just make it a nice systematic drive. We're going to be taking the next road on the right. So it's just on the bend. 
where that diverted traffic That's sign it, is. Yeah. Little kitty. So it could be little brother around the corner on a yeah, bike, can they? Should have been the first. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, you just got a bit of a habit of multiple gear change. So we sort that out. And what I would like to do is just pull up in the the car park on the left. And I'd like you to turn the car around in the car park so we can face out. Okay. So do a big old U-turn, basically. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Fine. Don't don't worry. That's fine. That's okay. You're all right. Just you, you leave it there. We'll reverse okay. later. Wait, have a little chat. Then we go out. I was just going to get you to circle around so we can just get straight out. Don't okay. Know. Just in case. You never know. They might deliver. The lorry might come in and deliver barrels, and then he's yeah. behind us, and then we're kind of stuck. Mm. But I, don't, I think that's quite a fair risk. But okay. the, we could just sort of think when we drive in somewhere, if we plan our exit, then yes. we're away if mm -hmm. stuff without having to reverse. Yeah. That'd mm -hmm. be the best thing. So let's just like regroup, let's sort of think about where we're at. So we've talked a lot about OAP mm -hmm. and our observations anticipation and planning so you know we talked about this little guy here on the field on his bike yeah. coming through um so you know we think well we see him there could be more little kiddies they could be coming home from mm -hmm. school a bit late now though or yeah. some club um and look, look there you go look so now a van reverse in behind us and if he wants to deliver which hopefully you don't <laughs> then, mm -hmm. then we'll be, funny, we could be we could be oh <laughs> We've got to wait for him now. And look, he's now not, just going to step there. Not long, hopefully. <laughs> Looks like he's just dropping off his, yeah. his work, mate. But anyway, so we've looked at OAP. Now, we've looked at bends. Now, I've given you a lot of help on the bends mm -hmm. just to make sure we get the speed off, mm -hmm. get the limit point, get the gear all sorted. So how do you feel with that now? Do you feel that you could sort of take... That more on board and sort definitely of... yeah I'm keen to have a go with less less help definitely that's it That'd so be good, yeah so I'll be much quieter on the way back okay thank God for that you say it yeah <laughs> and um, so then you can just focus on the limits mm, yeah and getting the bends right okay um, what about OAP I'm not expecting you to do a commentary unless you wanted to do one it might how do you feel about verbalising yeah, what you're Yeah, have seeing. a go, definitely. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good, yeah. So have a go. Mm -hmm. If it's getting too much, you don't, because I'm not expecting you to talk non-stop, no. that just wear you out. Mm -hmm. So just sort of say what hazards you feel are developing. So like if there's a mm -hmm. cyclist, that would be a, a yeah. good one, like we had earlier, talk yeah. about the cyclist. Um, if you go quiet, don't matter, just concentrate. Mm -hmm. Is it alright if I ask you the odd question? Like, oh, absolutely, yeah, no problem. Right, so I might, so I'm not tricking you, I might just say to you, okay, what was the last sign that we just went by? Mm -hmm. Just to know that you've clocked it. If you don't know, don't think, oh no, God, <laughs> I didn't see it. Just say I don't know. So I don't want you dwelling on that whilst, because no. if we've gone past the warning triangle, it means we're approaching the hazard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just think, oh no, I missed it. And if you've missed it, I'll say it's crossroads. Mm -hmm. So you're, we're on that crossroads. Yeah. So, I want to kind of get inside your head, I don't want to distract you too much, so I will ask you yeah. questions. All okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Right. And you're going to be responsible for them bends and limit points. Sure. So we're going to okay. go back the same way we just come. So we've got mm -hmm. a lot of bends. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do about this gears? Try and smart, uh, try and try to be less sloppy, I guess. So yeah. If you've got one Fewer hazard... gear changes. One hazard, one gear, you said, That's yeah. It. So we're just... So coming up to that roundabout, you're just going down for that mm. other gear, then you're going to need another gear yeah. if if it changes. Mm. So if we wait on information, if we sort of take, use, give, take the information, use yeah. it before you change your plan, mm -hmm, before yeah. you do something different. Mm -hmm. It might be a bit of a, a habit thing, but mm. yeah. give it a go. Okay, excellent. I'll let you know when you haven't done it. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if I need to help you, yeah. if I see you going for that gear, I might just say, well, don't, don't yet. Just no. hold hold mm -hmm. it. Just just hold that thought. Go a bit nearer to yeah. the junction, nearer nearer to the bend or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. So we've got a plan for going back. And you're happy reversing out of this space? Yep, no problem at all, sure. So tell us about the hazards you've got around us at the minute. 
there's possibly people walking to the pub, although the, the car park's fairly quiet at the moment. Any of those vehicles could be starting And those vehicles behind, what type of vehicles we got? Work vans. And how have they parked? Close to each other? Close. What do you mean? Did they drive in or did they reverse in? Reversed in, yeah. Why did they do that? Because it's easier to pull out, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So if if, yeah. They, if they'd driven their vans yeah. in where we had, yeah. reversed out to that blind exit. So a, they've, they've thought, do you know what? We're going yeah. in for a few pints. Yeah. Better make it easier. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Just, I, I think them guys, and I yeah. think they're the workmen fixing yeah. the place up. So, um, but that's that's good, Nick. They yeah. they've reversed mm. it in, so they can get out yeah. with mm. good visibility. So that's good good practice. So, um, I'll take that go. on board. Yeah. All right, but the taxi <laughs> next to it. What's the taxi done? Oh, nose in, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we yeah. sort of safe, yeah. It's all planning. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah. So. And while we were talking, there was a lady in that white car yeah. putting stuff in her boot. Mm. So I'd be thinking, is she going to reverse out yeah. onto the main road or mm. you know, and all that kind of stuff? We've got a bus stop over your right shoulder. Yeah. Are there people waiting? Is the, is the bus due? Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm going to let you get out of the car park now. Mm. So have a good old look, yeah. make sure it's safe. So at the exit, we're going to turn right, and then at the junction left. So right out of the pub car park, left at the junction. I want to see more because... Did you see it? Did you see him? Right, yeah, we're, we're left. I think it's part of it. Left at the junction. Yeah, we're going yeah. back the way we come, but yeah. I will direct you. Okay. Wait, we'll stop there. Didn't, I didn't think you're going to wait then. <laughs> <laughs> Keep me on my toes. <laughs> okay, so you just settle in. Okay. We're in a 30 speed limit. You see a hazard? Say it. Mm -hmm. There's a car quite close behind. Mini roundabout left. Mini roundabout coming up, so I'll check my mirrors. Turning left, centre left mirror to signal. Bring in the brakes a little bit. And I'm going to go for first gear. It's going to be too low. Rather than engage it? that clutch, roll, do a roll in first, then look. Right. So you just engage the gear there, yeah. so you get engine brake in yeah. without brake lights, and that car's behind. And you can feel it, can't you? Yes. So we can just depress the clutch, roll up to get your view, roll into first. Yes. And if it's clear, you can go. Yeah. If it's a stop, you just stop. So bring the clutch over, you just get that engine brake. We don't need it. No. And what's the speed limit in this road? 30 at the moment, isn't it? This is 40. Is it? So there were some signs there, so there you go, there's some information missed. That, missed. Yeah. There's a junction coming up on the left, so there could be vehicles emerging. National speed limit, so I'll check my mirrors as we come up to national speed limit. Change gear after the hazards. Yeah. Mirrors, and then mirrors. bring your speed up in, in the gear you're in. Yeah. And then I look at the limit place. You're going to be doing the limit points, aren't you? Okay, so just keep off the speed there. Limit point opened up, so we'll check the mirrors and accelerate. So in about two miles, we're coming back to the crossroads that I said you're a little bit slower. Six, yeah. So let's see if we can improve upon that because what we don't want to do is encourage overtaking. people to overtake. No, just for dangerous. Yeah. But we want to be at a speed we can stop at if someone come out. Yes. So we've got to try and get a, a balance yeah. on that. So if we start looking through the field, see the houses and the row of trees yeah. coming down. There's an early indication that that could be a junction because those houses going in, they must have a road to get to their house. Yeah. So that's there's a good sign as well. And then there's a sign. Yeah. And on the left, we'll have a hedgerow running in there. Yeah. So a bit more speed, please. You've dropped off your speed, just a bit more progressive there. Now ease off, scan right, scan left. Yeah. Yeah. And this 
this is a safe speed through here. So now we did 45 with that yeah. instead of like near, near yeah. 25 last. Ben's coming up, so I'm just going to. So look at the limit point. The Don't change gear, just look up on the crest of the hill at that limit yeah. point and just accelerate towards it. Because that limit point is just running and now it's vanished. So the speed's good. And now think what that limit point's going to do over here. So it's going to let you go, yeah. can you? Then we see the rooftop, what yeah. could you anticipate is around there? There could be a junction, rest of a hill, there's definitely a speed limit change. Because that looks like a big farm, doesn't it? A big yeah. farm. Oh, agricultural Something that tractors would be kept in. So just check my mirrors, check the speed, coming into 40. That's it. And it turns out that it is a farm. And there's a junction, yeah, for sure. We talked about the, the paint on the road before, didn't we? So later says no edge of carriageway lines, but then further up we did. So why not here but up there? What do you think the change is? Well, what's the extra hazards? So now they start. What's the hazards? Coming into a speed limit change and the road's a bit narrower. There's it's all these houses. The right. speed limit hasn't changed. It's always yeah. been 40. Yeah. Well, since back there. But it's all these houses and driveways. So just drawing your attention to it. So I'm going to bring the speed down. I'm going to change gear. And then Perfect. So that was good, wasn't it? So you've got your speed limit point, all gear done before. Keeping the speed limit, checking the mirrors, coming up to a 30. What's the inverted triangle? Give way. Okay, so we're going to turn right at that junction. Yeah. First. First so there's two away, gears. Yeah. So that's a habit, isn't it? Yeah. Gotta knock that out, yeah. Beat it out of me. <laughs> yeah. Gotta knock this habit out, yeah. No, it's not. It's, are you alright with the sun? Are you... I'm just gonna put the lights down, really. Although it's nearly below the visor. Maybe you could choose the telegraph poles as an indication what the road's doing. Yeah, just hold the gear here. Warning of deers and a deviation to the right. So just holding the gear into the hazard and then accelerating through it. The limit points opening up. That's it. So accelerating fourth gear, limit points governed by the brow of the hill there. So just holding the speed at the moment. Check. Bit points opening up a little bit, but still a brow of the hill, so not going to massively increase speed. And then the road's opening up, so we can accelerate a little bit. More. And the car, well, one of the cars coming towards us. What's different? This car and the car behind. What's the difference? One of the bags got lights on. Yeah. Daytime running lights. Is what we mean. And as we go into a tree line. And the sun's falling, what could we do to be seen here? Pop our side lights on. I see we've got day running lights, so all right, but yeah. that's its consideration. You might have a car that when you yeah. pass, you haven't got that, so it will flip the lights on. Because it made a difference, didn't it? It did, yeah. So, so, especially in low sun. Yeah. Next hazard then is potentially a couple of bends in the road, uh, slow signs. So, just how many gears you can use? Just the one. one one gear, one hazard. Get it more or more. 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 Okay. So you've more. got a time for the gear. So you get the gear. to the bend with a clutch up, off the brake. Right, so it's on so the car will well. just balance up. Yep. That's good. So we've got it all done. Yeah, so yeah, just try there. and get it a little bit earlier because we just want a chance to, for the car to settle yeah. in before the bend. Because what, what's happening to the. Where's the weight when you're braking? On the front of the car. And when you steer in a left hand bend, where's the weight shifting? On the left corner at the front. So, yeah, so if you're shifting weight to the front through braking and steering, yep. you're going to overload your front, your front right if you go yep. around the left bend. Sure. And what risk does that face? Oversteer the car can go straight ahead. 
That's it, yeah. So if we can minimise the braking effect and let the car balance, and if we accelerate, we can distribute the weight evenly yeah. through the bends, yeah. and you'll have a much more stable car. So you happy dealing with the next bends? Yep, no problem at all. So just hit my mirror check. That's all I'm doing at the moment. So that was good. No need to um, brake or change gear because no. the limit point just ran away. Yeah. Didn't it? So that's good. Limit point at the moment governed by the brow of the hill. Mirror check, veering around to the right, bringing off the speed. Bringing off the speed, bringing off the speed. And it's moving there as Fourth it? gear and accelerate out. Checking mirrors into a speed change, so bringing down the speed. So next hazard is crossroads and a bend to the left. So just to get the slow and bring down the gear a little bit just so there's a little bit of engine braking. Clear behind and then accelerate through. Just holding this gear at the moment until the limit point starts to open up. Speed change mirror check. Watch that hole, excuse me. There's a junction to the left here as well, so I'm not going to. Rather well, than change gear, just no. stay there. You've okay. got oncoming and a junction. Yeah. Okay. Safer with both hands. Yeah. I'd rather you be in a too lower gear and then change gear here. Right. But because what's going to happen, the minute you go for that gear change, the tractor sticks his nose out, yeah. you're into a brake situation with oncoming. With, with one hand on the steering wheel. And if you're braking, where's your weight going? To the front. To the wood. front, and with one hand, whoop, you can yeah. unsettle the car. So Absolutely. you're better to. Um, so there you just change gear on the bend. Late, didn't I? Yeah. So did you need a gear change for that bend? Was the limit point running away? It was, wasn't it? It yeah. was. So there we can think. We don't always have to change gear. We just want to get the speed right. And if the gear's suitable for the speed, we can carry on around the bends. Obviously, if they're sharper bends there'll be a gear change if we're changing speed dramatically. Yeah. So, um... okay, so the limit point next is governed by the brow of the hill. Just checking my mirrors, easing off the gas a little bit. So notice this dark car with no lights, he kind of hides in that road, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah it's camouflaged. He, he was almost invisible at that point. Yeah. So we've got a low sun and it's hard to see and all these cars are without lights. Whereas we've got ours on, so we're going to be yeah. much more visible. Less likely where this junction's coming up for someone to nudge out. Bring the brakes a little bit and just put the gear change because otherwise their vehicle might coast and I'll, I'll have to brake and change anyway. So what, other, what else could you plan to do if you've got a concealed entrance or you think someone hasn't seen you? How could you warn them that you're there? ahead of the roundabout. So just don't ask that question yet, just look at the roundabout, think what lane you're going to be in for this, how you're going to position to go to the head towards the full paint. In the centre of my lane. In the right hand lane. So use the right. Thank you. And would you need a signal here? Not at the moment. And, what's the, and the reason for that? Because it's because you're not giving information to anyone, but I was when I yeah, come off. Yeah, good. Yeah, no one yeah. would have benefited. Yeah. You did have a car behind you. Would you have signalled right for that one? Definitely, yes. So it was past yeah. 12 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to move so, that back there so I see. Just, what are the white lines down the centre of the road telling us? It means that you can't overtake. And then high hazard as well, because the crossing. Yeah. And if you put your eyes on full beam, tell me what hazards are coming up. There's a speed limit change and a pedestrian crossing. Good. So where you're looking beyond at the pedestrian crossing, that's where you want to start. If you look to the furthest point, far, near, and then rear, in a cycle like that. Far near rear. Because right. then if there's a priority hazard coming up, you can deal with that sooner. Yeah. The sooner you see it, the sooner you're on it. Ahead at the mini roundabout. So then we focus on the roundabout. 
and then once we clear the hazards, we kind of start again. We look far. So what's the furthest point you're looking to here? Down the bottom of the road, but I'm just wanting to very quickly scan the pedestrian crossing before I do that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking ahead, you pick up in your peripheral vision what's happened to the yeah, sides, okay, sure, then yeah. work back. So we're going to be taking the next road on the left, which is just after the bus stop where that vehicle turned, just turned in. Cyclists, so he's hard to see, isn't he? In the dark, is, yeah. in the in dark colours, I should say. So he might have a mate. He might be there with someone. It's that little bin's toppled over. What what kind of effect would that bin to topple? Perhaps a bin collection. The bins could be empty now, so that's a bit of a sign that perhaps, or it could be full and it could have fallen over, so it could be either, couldn't it? Yeah, all of those things. All windy day. Yeah. It's nice and still today, isn't it? So we're a check and away. Going to hold fourth gear as it deviates to the left slightly. So not going to accelerate till I know what's going on. Just That was good, that bent. Lots of hazards coming up here, so mirror check, bringing down the speed. Bringing down the speed. And then select gear. Brilliant, so that was really well timed. Everything done before that corner, so you could steer it in. Excellent. Holding the gear here for the deviation there, for the bend to the right. Tell us what information you got. Do you need a signal there? Probably not actually, no. I suppose he was a bit too far away, wasn't he? But it didn't hurt anyone, did it? And what information did we have? 40 mile an hour speed limit. And it was the, the main information that I picked up anyway. Okay, there was another sign there, but I need to give you a direction. So at the roundabout, mm -hmm. turn right. So when you go into the new roads, have a look, there'll be two bits of information. One will be a speed limit, and one will be related to what we just missed there. That's going to be first gear for that one. That's Rather it than good. second and third and all that nonsense. And break on. Yeah, and we're good to go. So you might have already had a look at those signs while we were waiting there. Did you get a chance I to look into the road? Actually, no, I didn't. All right, no. so we're going to get a second bite of the cherry here as we come in. So we've got the speed limit and there's something else there. No right? stopping. It is, so clear way. Is clear it the start way. of a clear way or the end of a clear way? Start, isn't it? That was the end. Right, okay. Because it said end under it. Did it right under So that, that. that's that's why we okay. need to raise that yeah. observation so we we know, we know what the speed limits are, because one day there's going to be a sign there, you're beyond your test, that you're really going to need to know, and you yeah. don't want to fall foul of the law or, you know. Just holding the third gear so there's a little bit of engine braking down the hill so I don't need to change back and forth. Is it good? And what are the white lines telling us at the minute? Low hazard. Good. 
and then if you look where, up on the eyes on main beam up to the roundabout, what are the lines doing? Hazard lines of pedestrian crossing, so just ease off the speed a little bit as well. And at that roundabout, I'd like to turn right. Okay. Centre right. Need to bring the speed down. Do you need an exit signal? No, there's no one about, is there? No. And let's take the next right into the macros. Okay. I don't know. So why, why do you think he did that? Was I coming up a bit slow, perhaps? I don't think you were too slow. No, okay. I think <laughs> your timing of the signal was good, and he saw, oh, you're going to turn right. And that helped him, he just thought, oh, I've got enough time to get out in front of you. So yeah, what I like you to do is Sorry. just pick a bay, drive forwards into any bay. Okay. So don't worry about reversing, just drive forwards. And drive forwards so we can drive out, so we don't need to reverse to get out of this space. Right, okay, yeah. Okay. So you can do, like, what yeah. I'm trying to say is drive through the bays. I understand. So if we, someone did, so if we drove in and couldn't and had put ourselves in a position where it's reverse out and then a big old van or someone else parked, mm -hmm. then you're forced into a reverse out of the bay. Yeah. And then you've got all this and you're like Lots going your on, views yeah. obstructed mm -hmm. and all of that. Good. So yeah, so you've Fantastic. secured the car, you can turn the key off. And so now what we're just going to do, we're just going to sort of reflect on what we've done there. So we've, so first question I'm going to ask you, what would you take away from the lesson today? Compared to last week and what, what have you got from it? Lots. Observing all the way down the road and then bringing it back from yeah. the furthest point was really helpful. And what's the advantage? What's the, how does that help? Because you can anticipate and plan more effectively. I see. It gives, yeah, like, really a good. really good example just mm. then yeah. is the cyclist and the, the van come out, yeah. don't they? And then if we got our eyes right on the, as far yeah. as we can see, we can see yeah. that and think, oh, because we were just about to go into a, a dip. So we'd have and accelerate we'd have, as well. Our view would have diminished. Mm. We could have come up there, but he could be on the wrong side. Yeah. Couldn't he? So we can see that side as I think, mm. right, early planning, then we can do something about it before we get yeah. into it. So, yeah, so definitely. That's good. That's good. And making sure that enough speed was off before a bend, the right gear was uh, engaged so that the vehicle was perfectly stable going around the corner. Yeah, did that make sense? Because I now explained that oh, you're on the move. No, it made a lot of sense. That, yeah. that you're happy with how that car will be more stable? Definitely. Good, through the bends. And something else you mentioned which I found worked very well was once the limit point was opening up to then accelerate to enhance the grip of the car around the corner. That's it. That's good. Yeah. So one thing, well, so that's that's good. So you've taken that away? Yeah. yeah. What is there anything there that you think, oh, think I could have done a little bit better or would like to improve upon? I still think that I need to work on unnecessary gear changes. I think that's definitely okay. something that I need to develop. We can look at that. Now is it, how big a risk does it pose? That's, it's quite a, a low risk thing. You take yeah. your multiple gears. When I learned to drive, mm. I was taught to go up and down every mm. single gear. Yeah. So, um, and if someone did that now for their driver test, they'd pass. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as they're in control of the car, yeah. it's not a biggie. Mm. But now we're just encouraging people to sort of think and plan their gears. Mm. So we spend more time with two hands on the wheel yeah. and not going down gears. So it's just a small thing and mm. it, would just, it would just sharpen up your drive. And if you get in that habit, it'll just stay with you for life then. Yeah. And then you'll mm. just be, mm. and you know, I don't know, it'd be less fatigue yeah, yeah. if you're on a long drive mm. absolutely you know if you it's drove good. to Cornwall or Scotland yeah. or Lake District you go up there yeah. 
If you're going to do hundreds of gear changes, yeah. you know. So, um, or get an automatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been done with the gears. But no, so you can just minimise the yeah. fatigue and just get a selective gear change, just pick one mm. and yeah. do it. So that's something we could continue mm. to, yeah. to work on. Mm -hmm. um, we just sort of mentioned about signals where it's necessary. Yeah. If you signal to no one, does it matter? Not too much, no, not particularly. Oh, don't matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it's just something to be mindful of. You yeah. can plan, think, well, no one about, I don't really need to. Mm. Just want you to sort of, it's planning, isn't it? If you're yeah. thinking mm. and planning ahead and how your signals might affect or not affect, then we can just work that in to make you a better yeah. driver. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, the big thing for me, for you, was getting those the bends. Because yeah. if mm. we take from where we were last week, speed was mm. too fast, we were kind of braking late and running out of road to turn. The vehicle was unstable and you could feel but, that, yeah. And so now, mm. you're, you're getting that and on the way back there I left you to it and you're getting it. Yeah. So that's good. So if you can just continue to do that and we'll develop it and build on it, so mm -hmm. by the time you go and take your test that'll be a habit. You don't mm. think about it anymore, you'll just think that is normal. Yeah. Mm. So that'd be good. And that, Absolutely. that's about our time, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll start next week, we'll mm -hmm. reflect on what just happened, and then we'll, we'll take, a, take yeah. it further, mm -hmm. alright? Excellent. Happy days, end of. Thank you very much. Alright, <laughs> so I'll stop that now. How yeah. long was that? That was an hour and oh, yeah. six. So I went, mind you, I, I did a bit of jibber jabber didn't I before I started recording there, there was a bit of scene setting because I was there, trying yeah. to do it to the hour mm. and I was like oh oh hang on a minute I kind of then I thought shit I didn't look at the time <laughs> mind you <laughs> so yeah. it just felt like an hour yeah. I was thinking